now we are going to discuss about the evaluation of dbms with data models here we have presented a tableau representation by categorizing the uh, terms like generation time period what are the names of the models that were used in those period and what are the best examples of those models and few comments regarding those models when you look at the evaluation first generation of dbms was done during the period 1960s and 1970s and we used to call that model as a file system model and the best examples of this file system models were vms and vsam and this type of uh, model was uh, mainly used in ibm mainframes and uh, the, they were using this type of systems in order to main manage the records and coming to the second generation dbms it was done during 1970s and the model used were uh, hierarchical model and network model instead of file the people have bit advanced to and moved towards hierarchical and network model and the best example was uh, ims adaba uh, adabas and ids2 and uh, these type of models were called as earlier database systems and uh, this uh, models allowed for navigational access also and coming to the third generation the time period was from mid 1970s till present and the model name that was used in those period was a relational data model and the best examples were db2 oracle mysql and it was very simple and it supports the conceptual representation also and uh, it was your uh, modeling and the support relational model also and when we move to the fourth generation it was done from the period of mid 1980s till present and the model used in that generation was object oriented extended relation and the best example was uh, oracle 10g so what was the difference between the third and fourth generation was it supported complex data along with it it uh, supported that extended uh, relational support and it was a uh, uh, base for data warehouse also next was the last generation that is the next generation and the time period is a present and future that means the research work is going on take uh, going on on this particular concept and the model uh, termed as xml that means it is uh, going to integrate uh, both the relational and object models using the xml documents so the best example is uh, db xml oracle 10g and mysql server and uh, it it was uh, having an, a capability of organizing and managing unstructured data also so second is it is going to use advantages of relational and object model and also supported that xml documents also so this is all about uh, the evaluation of dbms with data model